This is called Solstice Hawaii. All day the close sky sat on my head like a crown of cotton. The sea said, stay away. But I kept pacing around the cement pool to stand a few yards above it, we, above the world black and, excuse me, above the world black lava rocks where the red molts of rock crab dried by day to husk and crumble. And the waves urged everything they touched to join them. The week before, every sunset was the same bright show. Down below, a four-foot eel circled the shallow tide pool, restless big leopard spots, brown skin breaking the surface as if to prove it could. And every day I had to look, sipping at something non-lethal, shirtless, waiting for it to do something, eat a fish, leap clear of the two feet of water, show me its fangs. <coughs> Last week, early afternoon, the sun was high, Dripping, I got out of the cement pool. The eel had come early. It was brighter in the, in the direct light and soon gauged the swells, finding, it soon gauged the swells frothing over the tide pool's rim to slither back across the bare rock into the foam below. And I wouldn't see it again. This evening, the horizon opened up a quick band of blue beneath the gray and allowed the sun its brief show of pale orange before gathering itself up into a red ball that it had been all along and then sunk quick away. It's a few days before Christmas. Two teenage boys in Santa hats play catch near the pool across the way. Two red-headed white-bodied birds hop up and down on the lava rock wall saying, faster, faster. A fishing boat makes wake for the harbor. And in the perfect glass of the swimming pool, the sun is a pink memory, while everything else heads in for the long night ahead. Wow. This is coming home from Hawaii. <laughs> After the one storm before another, the sky is an angry blackish gray of roiling clouds. Every time I walk outside the late rain, shimmering on bowing bamboo near the path, drips water down my neck. And now my car doesn't want to start in the cold. And I caught a cold from tropics to redwoods. It's clouded my head like the crazy sky above. With my mind no longer a trusted guide, and my quest without grandkids underfoot or a wise place by the hearth. Well, let's just say there's no odyssey left in me. <laughs> Kindness, never my strong suit, surrounds me still in others. So I shake off the chill in the freezing car and buckle up. Wow. <laughs>